we get one precious life. I don't think we want to let medical conditions hold us back. We've been together for about 16 months. 16 months. And it's been amazing. It has. It's so important to speak about it because I know I'm not alone. And make other people aware about exactly how common it is as well. Exactly. I wonder why it hasn't become more acceptable because it's a common condition. I love to travel, I love to camp. I don't want to miss out on things because of a medical issue I have no control over. No. I have no idea it's happening. No. Completely unconscious when it happens. Yeah. It's like having asthma or diabetes yeah. or yeah. something. Yeah, it's, a medical, it's, it's a medical condition. You can't blame somebody for having a medical yeah. condition, can you? I have a condition called nocturnal enuresis, which means incontinence at night. And everyone, when I was a child, said, you'll grow out of it. And then I got older and it didn't go away and I had a lot of tests, but it always seemed to come back. I was so nervous about telling you and you basically said it's not even an issue. It's yeah, not, you didn't make not, a fuss of it. It's not an issue. Something that I felt was wrong with me didn't feel wrong to you. No, it's not wrong. It just made me fall in love with you all the more. How do you feel that, like, I don't ever want to share a double bed with you. Sometimes I do want to be a little bit closer to you. When we were going camping oh, yeah. and sharing a tent, I was so nervous about it and I thought it was better just to be honest and say this might happen. I did feel really honoured when you told me. What was it like sharing a tent this weekend then? So I had an accident on the first night. Even though I knew you knew, that I had this problem, I still was like, kind of didn't want you to know, and okay, I was like yeah. dealing with everything. And I do worry about someone just being like, oh, it smells in here, or making a comment that makes me feel really like, oh God. I like the idea of doing a really big hike. Yeah. The hard thing is if we're hiking across a desert, I think I'm quite worried about being able to buy incontinence pads along yeah. the way. Having a wet sleeping bag isn't really an option. I really wish I'd had role models that I could have looked at and gone, oh, okay, an incontinent person speaking about it. For so long, I could never see myself telling anyone and I ended up avoiding relationships for a long time. It happens, but there's a way around it. There's alarms, there's waterproof pyjamas, and there's gonna be a solution for you. Yeah. It doesn't mean you can't do things, it's just you make an adjustment to make it more manageable. How do you manage it? I wanted to do this so that I could be that person to someone who might need it, and if it helps even one person, then it's totally worth opening up about something that's really embarrassing. You're gonna be such an awesome role model. <laughs> I hope so. I'm really proud of you.